Last year for Mastercam 2023, Machine Group setup was revamped to include the new panel interface and the master model concept. Now in 2024, we have added a variety of new features to continue improving its overall functionality. So in this file, if we enter the stock setup, the first thing you'll notice is this warning going on with the fixture, or sorry, work holding. So we'll get to that. So we're gonna do the master model first. So you still have your add from a level, add from a file, or add from the selection or the screen. So I'm gonna select that. So if I do my stock, this is where some of the big changes have happened. So they have added in add from two corners, rectangular stock and a cylindrical stock. So if we add from two corners, I can turn on this and I can pick these two corners and there's your, your stocks completed now. So I'll just remove that. So now if I come off the bounding or sorry, the rectangular stock I can pick the model itself. It's going to create a stock model around the model itself. They've also added in this new push pull feature and a both directions feature too as well. So this works very similar to the push pull up in uh, model prep. So if we grab a face and you grab that arrow, you can click on the, the stock set up there if you want. And same here, grab that arrow and we can click on the stock set up there. And then we can click on this face, grab that one and click that. Now we've got both directions set on. So if I, you see that it went up above the stock there. So I'm just gonna remove that and we'll add that back in so we have a proper stock. So if I go now to the work holding, you'll notice the warnings coming up there. So the moment I touch this fixtures, that work holding warning goes away and we can add the work holding from a level. So if we come to the levels, you can add it from a file or you can pick it off the screen. So in this case, it's easier just to pick it off a level. So we're gonna enter this Langvice level and then that's in now. The next big change for the stock itself is where you're gonna set your override for verify. So I'll just take exit out of this first so in this example, they've created a stock model one, which is just a normal stock, the original stock to begin with. And then they have this after the rough stock, so rough stock. So after the roughing is completed, this is where I want to use and I want to verify this Helix bore toolpath, but I want to use this stock model to do it. So you can't enter the setup here anymore. Simulator options just brings you back into the machine group setup. So now this is exactly where you would change and set up your stock that you'd like to use for verify. So if we use this stock override button and I come into this add from a stock model, now you have options to pick which stock model you wanna use for verify. So I'm gonna leave it set on the rough stock. And we can also pick it from a file and from the screen as well. So I'm gonna leave that on stock override rough stock. So when we hit the verify, it's going to use that rough stock model, this model here, to verify against for the Helix Bore Toolpath. So let's try that. So there's your completed stock model. So the work piece is on the screen. I'll just get rid of the stock. So the work piece is on the screen now because we indicated master model, which is work piece. We put the stock in, which shows it there, and the fixtures are on the screen now. So now we have everything on the screen that we need to verify. So now if I just hit the go button or play, and that's new for Mastercam 2024.